Chrome lightsabers are very popular, and they're basically any lightsaber that features a chrome finish or sometimes a chrome-like finish. So not all chrome lightsabers are technically actually chrome lightsabers, and we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later, but either way, you know, chrome or chrome-like lightsabers have a shiny, reflective, sort of glossy appearance to them. And so it can create a bit of a premium look. I know when I think of chrome, I think of things like hot rods and in motorcycles. So there's, there's a bit of that association as well. But here's an example. This is a Saber Forge lightsaber with a chrome finish. Now, how it works is it'll, you know, the chrome finish is applied to a metal hilt. You know, it could be an aluminum hilt. And um, it just kind of creates this, this bright and vibrant finish. And um, some companies, some saber companies, will um, only offer certain hilt designs with the chrome finish. And other times it, it will be offered sort of as a, a premium, um, kind of an upgrade that you can get for a finish. And uh, there are some companies too, this is much less common, but there's also a kind of dark chrome fin finish, which is sort of a, a smokier, um, kind of gray, grayish, darkish finish. Um, so that, that sometimes is an option too, or sometimes is a design choice for some companies. I know Master Replicas years ago um, offered certain of their hilts with a chrome finish with their, their mini hilts, I think it was. Um, so the, the dark chrome finish, or sometimes there was the bright chrome finish. And so uh, that's just something that company did. Now, a chrome finish, you know, since it gives a hilt sort of a premium look, uh, sometimes people will use that for kind of an idealized version of, um, of a hilt or, or a hero version, you know, just something bright and shiny and, you know, again, kind of premium, at least in its appearance. So um, that's definitely part of the appeal. Now let's talk about nickel plated and nickel chrome plated lightsabers. So both of these are quite popular and common. Um, so the difference is, you know, nickel plated lightsabers technically aren't chromed at all, but they'll still have that kind of bright glossy appearance and um, nickel uh, chrome plated lightsabers basically are the same. They just have an extra, uh, an additional layer of the, the chrome plating on the very top of the hilt. And the actual kind of visual appearance between these two things, it, it's somewhat subtle. So, uh, you know, a, a nickel plated lightsaber has a little bit more of a, a yellowish tinge to it, whereas a nickel chrome plated one, it's a little more bluish. And so that kind of bluish color is added by the chrome plating that goes on the top. But again, both of those types of finishes, um, they'll kind of give this vibrant, glossy, shiny appearance like that. So you'll see both of them. And sometimes, you know, people even use the terms sort of somewhat interchangeably because I think whenever somebody sees a finish like this, um, it's people kind of can end up generalizing like, oh, that's a chrome finish. But at any rate, that's just a small detail there. Now, you know, the it, chrome finish is popular because it's so bright and shiny, but there's also a few drawbacks to the chrome finish. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, one of the drawbacks is you can get fingerprints and smudges on the, on the finish kind of more easily and uh, water spots too, anything like that. Of course you can, you know, mostly wipe those off, but um, it's just a little higher maintenance in, in, in that sense. And also one of the drawbacks is more during the kind of uh, manufacturing process. So a high quality chrome finish is just like, you know, can look really beautiful, really great. A low quality finish um, can have some issues later. Um, there can be little imperfections, can end up peeling. There's just kind of uh, some other issues that can potentially come up um, due to a poorly applied finish. So that's something that happens during the manufacturing or, or during the, the chroming process. So um, if the chrome starts to kind of blister or has 
um, you know, just some types of imperfections to it. It's likely due to either, you know, improper preparation <laughs> of, of the metal or just kind of low quality um, chroming. So uh, that's something to consider. Now, if you notice the lightsaber over here, this is actually a plastic hilt. This is a PVC hilt and it has this kind of chrome-like uh, appearance to it. And this is car detailing tape. So um, that's one way that you can kind of create a metal look with a lightsaber and, you know, chrome is the, the chrome kind of looking stuff here. As you can see, it's very similar to, um, to the chrome finish on the left. But certainly, you know, this hilt has kind of the, the feel of, of the plastic. It's lighter and uh, and such but either way you know whether you have a chrome finish or sort of a, a faux chrome finish imitation chrome finish whatever you'd want to whatever you want to call it just kind of that, that shininess of it is, is always very attractive it's, it's kind of like um, you know especially with kids uh, you know, kids like shiny things right that's sort of the cliche but Adults are kind of grown-up kids too, so I think a lot of us like uh, some of the shiny things also. But I, I know when I, I see people talking about these finishes though with lightsabers, it is a little polarizing. So some people just think it's like the best thing ever, and other people are like, yeah, I don't, I don't like lightsabers with chrome finishes. But it can also maybe depend on the hilt. So like maybe you'd prefer it with certain kind of character inspired hilts and maybe you wouldn't want it with a hilt that you intend to duel with or you know you can have a case by case with the uh, chrome lightsabers as well but what do you guys think do you like the chrome lightsabers or kind of chrome style lightsabers there's really a lot of options for that and i guess one final thought is about lego lightsabers so little teeny lego lightsabers um, they used to have this kind of chromed finish it was more like this and um, there were issues with the 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 lightsabers kind of peeling over time so at some point in in the 2000s um, i think maybe 2007 or so lego changed <laughs> their chromed lightsabers and made it more of a metallic silver color and so um, it was probably you know due to that peeling that was going on but they kind of remain a, a popular thing. So some people seek out those discontinued Chrome Lego lightsabers. Uh, but you know, out of, out of the custom saber companies that have made these uh, full size Lego style lightsabers, it, it doesn't seem like they often use the Chrome finish. So that's kind of an aside. There've been several companies that have made these custom uh, Lego style lightsabers that are full size. And, um, usually they're more of a metallic silver color. So I guess the uh, the attraction of the chrome uh, Lego lightsaber didn't carry over to the the full-size ones. But you know, that's a little aside at the end. <laughs> Feel free to comment below.